I'm Ms. Harder from first grade at Palm Crest, and I will show you how students use the number grid to add and subtract in first grade. Our number grid goes to 120. For a problem like 25 plus 3, students will start at 25, and they count on 3. They would point to each number using their fingers. So they would count on 1, 2, 3, and they would end at 28. 25 plus 3 is 28. When students count back on the number grid, they start at 42 in this problem, and they're counting back 4. So they would count back 1, 2, 3, 4, and they would land on 38. Again, students are using their finger to press every number on the number grid as they count back. So it's important that they have that in front of them. Then students are asked to count up or back by tens. So they would start at 47. In class, we talk about the vertical lines on the number grid and how we're adding or subtracting 10 each time. So when students are adding 30, for example, now they're counting 10, 20, 30. So they're starting at 47. They're counting 10, 20, 30, and they're landing at 77. By the end of first grade and beginning of second grade, students are asked to use the number grid in double digit addition. So in 47 plus 32, they're going to use the expanded form of the second addend. In this case, 32, they're going to add 30 plus 2. So they start at 47, they add 30, 10, 20, 30, then they're going to add two more, one, two. They added 30, then they added two. So 47 plus 32 is 79.